Glorious life of working at home. I'm still getting used to the whole Windows thing. Um, as mentioned last week, I now have a Windows PC after a decade of using Mac. But every time I'm programming, writing code, there is a lot of key combinations I need and use to do stuff like I jump to the start of a line, jump to the end of a line. And right now I end up everywhere except at those positions. Um, it's a lot of muscle memory that needs to be retrained as I am still hitting wrong keys and um, it's a different keyboard, it's a different system, it's different key combinations, but I'm getting there slowly. I hope. My second biggest problem is drawing. Um, I use GIMP, which is the exact same software as I use on the Mac, but I often use the touchpad for all my drawing and ignore that fact but uh, the touchpad on a mac is just a lot better than the one on this laptop so there is a difference there and i might actually uh, start using a mouse but for now i'm gonna try and learn to do it with this touchpad it's just gonna take a little bit of time like everything else i still think i did a good thing by converting back to windows so um these are not complaints. This is just um, stuff I took for granted and now I have to relearn myself. And that takes a little bit of time. The only way I'm gonna get better at this and train my brain to do all the right stuff and key combinations and movements is by just doing it a lot. So, um, we're gonna draw some stuff. Let's 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 create some pixel art. But let's do it upstairs because my cats want attention, and that's not gonna help me do some actual work around here. So I'm um, up to the studio. Let's start with something simple. I still want to create a couple of animation frames for the main character um, since he's just 16 by 16 pixels and it's going to be based on existing animation frames. I think that's the easiest way to start. So um, let's do it.
Um, I'm happy with the result. It's it's the result is good, but I'm not really happy with how it all functions. Um, especially scrolling the image and the canvas around in GIMP. And that's usually done with the spacebar and then the touchpad. And it feels it feels off. It doesn't always respond. Not sure what it is. Maybe there's a setting in GIMP I forgot about. But for now, it's not. Uh, no. But this looks okay. So let's start and try something bigger. I also need to create some background art. So let's try to create some background art. new set of background art done um, it's pretty easy the background art because it's mostly shapes and colors and as you just noticed I'm mixing them and changing them and until I'm satisfied with the result then I also make two other versions for a cold version of the planet and a very hot version of the planet which is again just uh, filtering other colors on top of it and that's how I create the background graphics for residual they're mostly just visible at the top of the planet because as soon as you go underground there are no background graphics, or at least not these graphics. It's mostly dark with some elements here and there. So um, the graphics don't need a huge amount of attention, but they do need to look good. So it's just um, sitting down for a while, creating shapes, creating colors, and um, mix and match until they look good, which is what I just did. Also, I noticed I've been working more and more in this tiny office upstairs. Um, so maybe it's time to become a grown man and get myself like a monitor keyboard and a proper workplace setup maybe what do you think maybe I might even throw in a mouse just to get rid of the touch pad. maybe we'll see it's we'll see so that's it for this week's video um, game development wise not a lot has been done on residual I had a couple of days that I was just not working and I also had a couple of days that I was trying to work but me and the laptop had some issues. Um, I will get over it. I just have to train my brain for these new muscle memory type thingies and all these key combinations and um, it's already getting better than last week so in a few weeks time I'm sure I'm at the same speed typing everything as I usually am and less of a struggle. Over the years I also made sure that all the software I use or most of the software I use is cross-platform so um, even though I stepped from Mac to Windows I'm still using the same uh, editor software IntelliJ, using GIMP for art, uh, Audacity for audio, DaVinci Resolve for this, uh, Chrome for my web browsing and Trello and services are online so they also all work the same so software wise it's it's been very easy stepping onto another operating system it's just the layout of the keyboard and, and certain specifics that a certain operating system has and another doesn't but I'm, I'll get over those things so I'll give it a few weeks and I um, think I'm gonna look for a monitor now on a keyboard maybe something 
think I'm ready for a proper desk situation. Yeah. Anyway, uh, subscribe, like, comment below, and I'll see you next week. Bye.